G'day, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how much should you work while you're studying at university. You're gonna feel a lot more confident about your decision to be working part-time or casually while you're studying at university. And while we do that, I'm gonna be showing you around Margaret River, which is in the southwest of Western Australia. This is a beautiful part of Australia and a really great town. So let's have a walk around and talk about working part-time and casually while at university. Right, well everybody falls into one of three categories when it comes to part-time or casual work. Either you have to work at university in order to survive, you don't have to work at all, or most people fall somewhere in the middle where working is pretty much optional um, as part of their studies at university. And what we'll do is dive into the detail on the three different use cases. Well, first thing to remember is take the pressure off yourself. You've got time. I think so many people, regardless of the stage of life, really feel like they've got to get that degree done as quickly as possible. But here's the reality. If you're young, you've got time to both study and work, and you've got a long life ahead of you. And look, even if you're coming into uni as a mature age student later in life, you've got time, take the time to get through uni properly in the way that's right for you. Next thing, if you absolutely must work while you're going through uni, how much should you work? The first thing you should really think about is a thing which is called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. It's a psychologist, a guy called Maslow, who basically um, determines that humans need to satisfy their basic needs first and their higher needs, things like education and self-fulfillment, later on. So you need to earn enough money to live, <laughs> that means live somewhere, to eat, <laughs> before you worry about stuff like education. And if that means that you need to take longer in order to complete your degree, then C point number one, you've got time, don't put pressure on yourself. Otherwise, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna find yourself like stressing out like crazy about like needing to work in order to earn money, at the same time as stressing about your uni, and like, you've got heaps of time in your life. Now what about the flip side of the coin from those people that absolutely must work to those people that don't need to work at all while they're going through uni? And this could be for many reasons. It could be because your family is particularly well off. It could be because you, have earned enough money and you don't need to work as you go through university. Well, if it were me, and it was my decision, I would be saying, don't work at all if you don't have to. And the reason for that is that university has got so much stuff going on outside the classroom that you can take advantage of all of those opportunities if you're not actually working a part-time or a casual job. Things like internships, volunteering programs, leadership programs, overseas study experiences, as well as the academic classes themselves. There are so many things that you can then dedicate more of that time to, to make the most out of your experience at university. The thing with getting employment these days is having a degree is part of the equation, but it's all the other stuff that you add on your resume that will help get you a job at the other end. Now, there's a caveat here. All right, what I'm not saying is that if you don't have to work, sit around on your ass and watch Netflix. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is don't work in order to take advantage of the multitude of opportunities that are out there at university. And I've got a whole video about doing extracurricular activities at university you'll find right there. Get into those activities. That's gonna boost your resume and give you the most opportunities once you get out of uni. If you are fortunate enough to not have to work on your way through uni, don't feel guilty about it. It's one of the worst things, right? Feel grateful because you've got an awesome opportunity and that will serve you in good stead. It'll definitely help you to make the most out of your uni experience. Well, this is one of my favorite coffee places in Margaret River. It's called River Smith. I'm gonna have a coffee here because this region of Southwest Western Australia has got amazing food and drinks, so wine and coffee and things like that. What kind of work? should you think about getting while you're at university, whether it's casual work or part-time work? I'd say a couple of things. The first thing is you should try to align the type of work that you get with the things that are important for you. So if you're really just trying to earn money to survive, well then earning the most per hour is the best thing for you. Um, in that case, getting a job on campus is absolutely awesome because uni jobs pay tons of money. So if you can get a job tutoring or you can get a job like at the student union or things like that, that is where you're gonna earn really good money. And also means it's gonna save you time. You're not gonna have time commuting out to uh, other jobs. So thinking about whether money is the most important factor for you. For some people, it might be around flexibility. 
they want to be able to have complete flexibility as to when they work. Of course, that then opens up jobs like things like Uber or delivery driving um, might work really well for flexibility. But just look at the details of those guys. Be really careful around any job that really promotes the flexibility aspects to you. Ideally, you're looking for a job that is flexible, as in you can do it in your own time, but that still pays you a fair amount of the time that you're invested. My first degree was a biology degree. At that stage, I thought I was gonna work in science, and so I got myself a casual job in a biology lab, and through that, I started volunteering, and eventually that turned into some paid work. But that was really a great resume builder for me. and gave me some amazing skills in the sciences that I definitely didn't get just by going to my classes. That's gonna be a really good investment of your time, not just because it's gonna give you money, but because it's going to satisfy some other need that you've got.